Gotta get that fifth wheel lowered enough to where that kingpin will just slide in. There's not enough weight on that. Fifth wheel plate and that kingpin won't go in. That's not how you want to do our tug test and we're good. That's not how you want to back into a trailer, but kind of just jumped on me. Just getting to the first farm. We got, we're gonna offload 1,200 gallons of milk at this. This is a little Amish farm. These guys are pretty cool, man. Super hardworking, excellent quality work, and just nice people. So after we empty out 1,200 gallons here, then we're gonna shoot over to a, another farm in Coldwater area, Southern Michigan, and then we're gonna. Um, empty off the majority of the tank of milk there i think that's like 5500 gallons so hopefully the goal is to not spill any milk so this is a very tight um you know deal here getting in and getting out with a, a semi truck but a tractor trailer but just we just take it wide and watch our corners Go that way. I'm glad to see, actually, oh yeah, I forgot. I can't come back out this way. So I'm glad he came in and told me We just can't come out that way. We gotta go out that way. We needed to come this way because we need this to cut this corner. So, oh, that was my first mistake of the day. Yeah, because we, I mean, we still could have turned around right here. We just would have had to swing it really wide and then come back around. But. This is a lot easier. But when we come out, we're gonna have to come out this way and cut her really tight. We're just getting to the second stop, the second farm over in Coldwater. The first farm had a couple hiccups with the with the hookups. 
to like the valves and stuff. All right, I gotta pay attention here because this driveway is really easy to miss. Yeah, it's a real tight road. This this road is not meant for trucks, but here we are. <laughs> Amish trucking, baby, trucking with the Amish. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to pull his horse and buggies in between my truck on that road. He had to, he had to go right and I had to go left, so he definitely has more room than a truck and a trailer, but you know, he's still got a bunch of horses and a buggy that he's gotta take wide turns with. So yeah, the apparatus on that motor or the pump, we have to put it together when we go there. And it's not too hard, there's some clamps and stuff, but what I was missing was an O-ring. It's like this little rubber flange, like an O-ring that goes on a metal plate that clamps into the, the pump. And I couldn't find that, so I was having a little bit of a leakage with the milk. But I ended up finding it and we took care of it and got it all figured out so I'm gonna go up in here and hopefully looks like the guys here hopefully we can get her unloaded we gotta put the tank I just opened up the doors I gotta put the tank up in there I usually got quite a bit of room over there so just gotta be careful with the sloshing it goes back and forth So now I'll probably straighten her out a little. Well, yeah, see, I, I got it sloshing pretty good right now. Straighten her out a little bit. We got 5,500 gallons to unload here. So we're gonna be here for a minute. It's supposed to take like an hour, but on that first stop at the Yoder farm, it took me quite a while because all those apparatuses that hook up to the pump weren't working properly. So here I get to use their pump which the same thing can go wrong here. Open the top of this top hatch of the tank. Otherwise you can, all the pressure, you can suck this tank right in. We got the hoses all hooked up, the valve open, we got the generator running. 
and the, the pump is on. So I'm hauling a load of milk to um, to Indiana and I'm taking these Amish country back roads the whole way, three hours. I left at one o'clock in the morning. I'm freaking tired, man. I'm literally like three miles away from my, uh, from the milk processing facility, from the farm and uh, Back there where I turned on State Road, I don't know, 114. It said 25 miles the road is closed for construction. This is not 25 miles. I went five, four miles down the road and ran into this massive barrier. I'm tempted to just barge right through it. Oh, I'm in a tanker and I get to reverse down this dark, Freaking country road. Oh my gosh, man. This should be fun. Wish me luck. These Indiana roads were definitely not made for trucks. <laughs> I mean, every, every few feet I'm literally swerving off the road because my tires will catch the lip of the side of the road and just kind of dip down in there and kind of make me go weaving and bobbing. So yeah, these roads were definitely not made for semi trucks. But a lot of them go down them. It's just tight. Every time you get like another truck coming the opposite direction or a car, like you start puckering up and getting all worried. You're not sure if you guys are gonna clash or what, but. And you can't really go off there's no room on the side or because if you hit that dirt especially in a tanker like what i'm in you could really lose control man and it starts weaving to the side and getting all crazy on you but before we delivered we just left our uh, um the place we unloaded our our, our dairy at boy oh boy like four o'clock in the morning, I had to take a big old flipping detour. So this detour is that you come up on 114 and it says, caution, detour in 25 miles, the road is closed. The road is closed in 25 miles. Okay, so I'm good because I only have to go five miles to the place, to the processing plant that I'm unloading this dairy at. So I keep her going. And sure enough, we get to this moment, uh, like literally two miles down the road from the processing plant, and it, the road just stops. Like there's, it's uh, barricaded and absolutely no way around it. And the next road is like three miles back. So I had to reverse all the way back. There was another truck that turned around, but I just didn't, a lot, there were skinny little driveways and most of them had signs in them saying no turnarounds allowed so I just didn't feel like it was dark out country road like I've done that before and I've I wished I didn't so I didn't want to go through that so I figured just reverse but reversing a loaded milk tanker is not that fun you know down the back road so eh. we made it we ended up going around and getting to the plant on time, but man, I was sweating balls, thinking, what am I gonna do? Yep, that's trucking for you, though. We're on our way home now, though. We should get back around 9.30 to the farm. And that'll be pretty much it, I think, for the weekend.